This is the library. There are three major functions in the library. Downloading books, book info, and settings. We'll start with download. If you look at the library, you'll see a number of ghosted book images with a down arrow. These are actually download links for the book, and clicking on the cover will begin the download. When a book does finish downloading, it will appear as a solid book image in the library. Click on the cover and it will open the book for you. The next major thing in the library is the book info page. To get the book info page, mouse over a book, cause the book info banner to appear. Click on that banner and you'll see more details about the book. You'll notice in the upper right hand corner there's a close book option and just to the left of that is delete book. If you do want to delete a book, simply select the trash can and say yes to the pop-up and the book will be replaced with a ghosted cover image. If you delete the ghosted book image in the same way, it will deactivate the book from the account. If you want to reactivate the book, you need to go to the store and find the book again. The buy button will be replaced with a download button. We will only be going over some of the basics and settings. The other tabs in the settings menu are for more advanced users, but if you do want more information about those settings, please contact support at blio.com. To get to the settings, select the gear icon from the upper left corner to the right of the store tab. We're going to go over accounts, general, help, and about. In the account section, you'll have the option to update your account information or to log out. General settings contains options related to how the app renders and where files are stored. The location field will allow you to set a default path for your book downloads. The hide books on this computer option will hide all ghosted books in a library. If this option is checked, you will not be able to download newly purchased content. Help will allow you to view the in-app tutorials or to open the support site. You can also check to see if the app needs updating from the help page. The About page. The version and store numbers listed on this page will help the technical support team resolve your issues more rapidly. The store is the main portal where you can acquire content. You can either browse through the sections. or you can use a search functionality in the upper right hand corner. Searches are title and author based, so a search for sci-fi will likely not yield results, but a search for space will. There are two ways to get free content from inside the application. Select the store, and then select our picks. In the group Free Classics, there will be a selection of free content that can be downloaded directly. You can also use the search feature to search for free content by changing the drop-down on the left side of the search bar. Select Free Books from the drop-down and do a search. Remember, searches are title and author based, so if you do not get any results, try relaxing the constraints.